Hey friends, it's day 22. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this cute little braided elastic type hairstyle. So first I'm gonna make the three sections for the braid and then the two sections I'm just going to put up until I'm ready to work with it. And I'm gonna take this one section and I'm going to grab an elastic band. So I'm just placing that elastic at the very top there and when I'm twisting, as I'm twisting, I'm pulling the elastic down to get this effect. So I'm just twisting, pulling down, twisting, pulling down and because I don't have enough elastic, I had to grab another elastic and do the same thing. And then of course, I'm gonna do the same thing to those other two sections. So these elastics did end up breaking before I got to the other ponytail, so I'm gonna actually show you in this video another type of elastic that I used doing the same type of effect. And I realized that if I'm gonna continue using these elastics, I need to ixnay, ixnay my coconut oil out of my, my uh, water bottle. That's what's you know, causing it, them to break. So I might just use just a leave-in conditioner and some filtered water when I do decide to use these elastics. So now when you're finished, you're just gonna take those braid, those <laughs> sections and you're gonna braid them like so. And at the bottom, you're just gonna get another elastic and do the same type of technique. And there you go, like how cool does this look? Now for the other side, I'm just gonna use these elastics, you know, these thicker ones, and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. Except, I don't know, if your daughter has longer hair, you definitely would need two. I just used one elastic, it was kinda long enough for her hair. And my husband said he actually likes this one better, the ones with the thicker ones but I actually like the ones with the, the plastic elastics better. What do you guys think? Yeah, so friends, let me talk to you about this elastic situation. Um, why, didn't I, why didn't I look more into this when I'm like being all frustrated and acting all crazy because my elastics keep breaking when really it wasn't the elastics fault at all. It was because I was putting the oil in my mixture, the coconut oil in my mixture, and the oil is what is breaking my elastics. And I kind of thought that, but I just never looked into it and I just kept blaming the elastics. So yeah, I definitely have to look into, you know, making a different mixture when I use these elastics. Now, friends, do you guys have that problem? Do you find your elastics keep breaking when you're using this mixture? Huh? Let me know. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Love you guys. See ya tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye.